All right. So we're going to be in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. So Ephesians, you, you looked this up. You know, you found this video. What's up with you, man? Come on in, man. So we're going to be talking about what? The armor of God. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Because the devil's going to come for you in many ways, okay? Just how we like to pray to God. You know, the devil out here like, man, look, okay, bet. The, the more that you say you praying to God and you ain't even trying to prepare for me, is better for me. Because I've been around longer than you, okay? So I know human nature. You hear me? But look, it says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. I love that part, man. You know, that's going to be another video, but you know, because... It's the spiritual and it's the physical. You understand what I'm saying? Right? See, this is this is what? My physical flesh, man. My physical flesh. You know, I'm made up of different systems. You understand? We all made up of these same systems. You know, my, my epidermal skin cell system. You know, my, my muscular system. Uh, my nervous system. You know, uh, uh, my immune system. You know, I... Look. My organ cells. Okay. Look, that's not the point. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Because what? There is a spiritual warfare, buddy, buddy. I don't know. Maybe, you know, we be too distracted to see what is going on. But it's very, look, I'm telling you, it's very easy to see. And we'll, we'll get into that as well. But it... Once you see it, you won't be able to unsee it. So it goes to say, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. So you have to make sure that when you're going through something in life, when your spirit is feeling off, when you're agitated, irritated, whatever's going on. Do you have your armor on all the way and you standing in that? You heard me? That's what that means. Every day. It's going to be hard. But what's the goal? To stand in that. Every day. Every day. Every day, man. Every day. So it says what? Stand firm. With the belt of truth buckled around your waist. I always gotta tell the truth, man. You know, we gonna we human. Sometimes we gonna tell some little white lies, you know. But if you in a relationship or like a marriage son, or, you know, uh, you know, you sharing something with your man's or you know. Your brother, you you're taking his money when he ain't around and shit like that. Like, come on, man. Like, and they ask you and you lie straight to their face and you don't feel no remorse, though. Gotta have on your belt the truth, man. God is the truth. You gonna have to tell the truth to him. So you might as well practice. Yeah, you might as well practice. So with the breastplate, because we gotta go to war. With the breastplate of righteousness in place. Here, my, my, hey, buddy, look, my, my breastplate, you feel me, is on. Gotta have it on, one war. Bell on, shh, breastplate on, what's next? Then it say what? And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Meaning, you know, my shoes, my sandals are peace, you know. I'm ready for what's to come next because I know that God is going to give me peace no matter what it is. At the end, I win. See what I'm saying? When I walk with him, I'm all right. I don't have to be worried or anxious, have anxiety, none of that. God got me, man. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Now what, devil? Mm-hmm. 
I'm peaceful. Mm -hmm. What else you gonna throw at me, man? What else, man? Huh? Yeah. That's how we rocking this way. Yeah. Yeah, we standing on that. Yeah. So we gonna go to the next. That, yeah, I love that right there. That, that get my blood pumping right there. So so we gonna, so at the end we'll it say. In addition to all of this, it take up the shield of faith. Gotta have your shield. You going to war, man? Come on. Man. So what we got? We got. You know what I'm saying? And then it say what? with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the helmet of salvation. You know, some people probably, you know, don't know what salvation mean. I remember, I didn't know what it meant when I was starting out. So I understand, but it means what? Deliverance from sin and its consequences. Meaning, don't just be out here sinning, man. But if you truly is walking in the right way and you was to slip up, it's okay. He forgive you, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as you understand you trying to do right. He knows you. He, he know if you trying to do right or wrong. And then it says the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Because, of course, you know, you're going to war. You got your defense. You got your armor on. You know what I'm saying? Got your breastplate. Got your truth. Got your helmet. You need something to fight with, right? Exactly. And, and that's your sword, man. The word of God. That's why Jesus was able to just knock the devil. He trying to tempt, the, tempt Jesus. Jesus. Well, I'm not worried about none of that, boy. I know the word of God. So everything you throwing at me, I can recite the word of God, bro, to you, bro. That's going to show you that you can't with me. You yeah, know? And it says, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all of the Lord's people. So that's what I'm going to do in closing. You know, I'm going to pray for all of y'all. Whoever watched this, man, you know, I pray for you. Man. I hope that everything, you know, your life goes good, man. I hope that you find God even more from this video, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope I helped you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That's what I pray for, man. All right, man. Until next time.